Hey guys, my name is Shailun and you all are welcome to our channel which is Neat Buddy where we provide you with daily biology MCQs so that you can help you with the NEET exam in the next exam so that you can help you with a little bit of preparation and like a lot of you guys requested that you want these daily biology MCQs organized in form of chapter wise format so that is what we are going to do from today from today onwards every day I am going to upload MCQs from one of the chapters of class 11th or class 12th in CRT biology and we are going to provide you with variety of questions of different levels of difficulty and I hope you find these MCQs helpful for starting from today I am going to provide you first chapter of class 11th in CRT biology and from tomorrow onwards we will keep following the next chapter and you can keep following those chapter sequence and solve these MCQs after revising the chapter daily so without wasting much time, let's get started. The procedure of naming a particular organism is known as Option A. Identification Option B. Nomenclature Option C. Classification or Option D. Taxonomy The procedure of naming a particular organism is known as The correct answer is Option B. Nomenclature. Question 2. Scientific names for plants is based on principles and criteria given in Option A. ICBN Option B. ICZN Option C. IPZN or Option D. IPBN Scientific names for plants is based on principles and criteria given in the correct answer is option a icbn question 3 iczn stands for option a indian code of zoological nomenclature option b international code of zoological nomenclature option c International Criteria for Zoological Nomenclature or Option D International Code for Zoological Naming ICZN stands for The correct answer is Option B International Code for Zoological Nomenclature Question 4 The process of providing scientific names with two components is known to a known organism is called the process of providing scientific name with two components to any known organism is called option a binomial nomenclature option b nomenclature option c trinomial nomenclature or option d tetranomial nomenclature process of providing scientific name with two components is the correct answer is option A, binomial, binomial nomenclature. Over the nomenclature is the process of providing scientific name. And since we have two components in the name, binomial. Bi means two, nomial means names. So each name in a binomial nomenclature will have two components, the genus and the species, right? Question 5. The two components of name given in binomial nomenclature are Option A. Generic name, specific epithet Option B. Family name, generic name Option C. Order name, family name or Option D. Family name, species epithet The two components of name given in binomial nomenclature are the correct answer is option A, generic name and the specific epithet. Question 6. Systema Nature is a book written by option A, Charles Darwin, option B, R.H. Whitaker, option C, Robert Hooke or option D, Carolus Linus. Systema Nature is a book written by the correct answer is option D, Carolus Linnaeus. Carolus Linnaeus wrote this book, Systema Nature. Question 7. Triticum aestivum is of order. Option A, Poeles. Option B, 
सैपेंडेल्स ऑप्शन सी डिप्टेरा और ऑप्शन डी प्राइमेटा ट्राइटिकम एस्टिवम इज ऑफ ऑर्डर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए पोलिस क्वेश्चन एट मैन बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली ए मस्किडे बी एनकार्डिये सी पोएसी और डी होमिनेडा मैन बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी होमिनेडा मैन बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली होमिनेडा क्वेश्चन नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्व एज अ क्विक रेफरल इन टेक्सोनॉमिकल स्टडीज ऑप्शन ए हर्बेरियम ऑप्शन बी म्यूजियम ऑप्शन सी की और ऑप्शन डी जूलॉजिकल पार्क विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्व एज अ क्विक रेफरल सिस्टम इन टेक्सोनॉमिकल एड्स ऑल द फोर गिवन द ऑप्शन आर टेक्सोनॉमिकल एड्स Which of these taxonomical aids is served for the function of quick referral system? The correct answer is option A, herbarium. Herbarium is a taxonomical aid which serves the function of quick referral system in various taxonomical studies. Question ten: Which of the following details is given in a herbarium? There are four details given in the options. Which of these details is present in a herbarium sheet? Option one, botanical name. Option B, collector's name. Option C, date and place of collection. And option D, all of the above. Which of the following details is given in a herbarium? The correct answer is option D, all of the above. Question number one. Different genera having common characteristics are placed in larger group called option A, family; option B, order; option C, division; option D, class. Genera having common characteristics. The correct answer is option A, that is family. Question number two: The smallest unit of classification is option A, division; option B, series; option C, species; or option D. order the correct answer is option c that is species question number 3 taxonomic rank in plant classification which is equivalent to phylum of animal classification is option a order option b division option c class or option d sub kingdom the correct answer is option b that is division Question number four: Family to which wheat belongs to? Option A: Monocotyledonae. Option B: Malvaceae. Option C: Poaceae. Or option D: Poales. The correct answer is option C: Poaceae is the family to which the wheat belongs. Question number five: A generic name of plant should always begin with option A: Upper case. option b lower case option c bold small letter or option d all of the above the correct answer is option a upper case letter question number 6 while selecting the generic name which of the following can be used option a name of a person option b character of a plant option c a name from literature or option d all of above The correct answer is option D all of above Question number 7 In the entire plant kingdom the name used for a species cannot be repeated in other genera can be repeated in another genera can be repeated in same genus can be repeated in same as well as another genus The correct answer is option B it can be repeated in another genus Question number eight: Highest unit of classification is option A, kingdom; option B, division; option C, class; or option D, family. 
The correct answer is option A, that is kingdom. Question number nine. A taxon refers to option A, a type of living organism, option B, group of closely related plants, option C, a taxonomic unit of any rank, option D, a group of closely related families. The correct answer is option C, a taxonomic unit of any rank. Question number 10. Artificial system of classification was given by Option A. Sokal and Sneath. Option B. Bentham and Hooker. Option C. Hutchinson or Option D. Linnaeus. Artificial system of classification was given by. The correct answer is Option D. Carolus Linnaeus gave artificial system of classification. Question number 11. The method of classifying plants on the basis of several characters like essential oils and pigments is called as Option A. Phylogenetic system Option B. Numerical taxonomy Option C. Chemotaxonomy or Option D. Natural system Classification of plants on basis of characters like essential oils and pigments The correct answer is Option C. Chemotaxonomy Question number 12. Binomial nomenclature system of Linnaeus means that every organism has Option A. One name given by two scientists. Option B. Two names, one Latin and other of a person. Option C. Two names, one scientific and other popular name. Or Option D. One scientific name with a generic and specific epithet. The correct answer is Option D. That is one scientific name with generic and another one with specific epithet. Question number 13. Who amongst the following is regarded as father of taxonomy? Linnaeus, Hooker, Theophrastus or Taktazan? The correct answer is option A. Linnaeus is known as the father of taxonomy. Question number 14. All algae have option A, phycobilin and carotene, option B, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, option C, chlorophyll B and carotene, option D, chlorophyll A and carotene. The correct answer is option D, chlorophyll A and carotene is present in all algae. Question number 15. Common form of food stored in a fungal cell is option A, glycogen, option B, starch, option C. Glucose or option D, sucrose. The correct answer is option A, that is, glycogen is the common form of food stored in fungal cells. So, those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs from the next chapter of class 11th NCRT Biology. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.